بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته May peace, blessings and mercy of Allah, God Almighty be upon all of you Welcome to 99 names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Today inshallah we briefly explain name number 19 Al-Fatah Al-Fatah means the opener, the reliever, the judge the one who opens for his slaves the closed worldly and religious matters. If only the people of the cities had faith and fear, we would have opened up to them blessings from heaven and earth. But they denied the truth, so we seized them for what they earned. Surah Al-A'raf, number 7, Ayah 96. As the opener, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests people with hardship. However, He does not impose an unbearable burden on anyone. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends difficulty to his sincere servants, he also opens a way out. Moreover, after each test, he sends ease. Indeed, Allah cites the hardship that our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encountered as follows. Have we not opened your breast for you, O Muhammad? and remove from you your burden, which weighed down your back, and raised high your fame, so verily, with the hardship, there is a relief. Verily, with the hardship, there is a relief. Surah Ash-Shahr, number 94, ayat 1 through 6. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives many examples of the help he offers to believers. For example, he supported Prophet Moses, Musa alayhi salam, during his troubles and eased his way. When he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let his brother Aaron or Harun alayhi salam accompany him on his mission to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Allah granted his request. This is only one example of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's continuous support and help for believers. He eventually removes their hardship, even those that seem impossible to overcome. Yet he makes the unbeliever's heart narrow and constricted and withholds his blessings from them. No power can restore these blessings for only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can grant them. This aside, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the gates of torment for unbelievers. Hear what he says, in the Quran. And indeed, we seize them with punishment, but they humble not themselves to the Lord, nor did they invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with submission to Him, until when we open for them the gate of severe punishment, they will be plunged into destruction with deep regrets, sorrows, and in despair. Surah Al Mu'minun, number 23, ayat 76 and 77. Until next time, peace, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.